day eight of the tournament. The crucial middle one, which often seems to make or break a title challenge. It's also the day of pre-sumo graduations. These three brave youngsters, the latest to earn their spots on the rankings chart, effective March. Most significantly though, January 17th, 2021 is also the 26th anniversary of the Hanshin Awaji earthquake, which claimed over 6,400 lives. Several wrestlers hail from the affected region. It will be those men upon whom I focus. While by far the lion's share of the brunt was borne by Kobe City in Hyogo, oft overlooked is the fact that 31 residents of Osaka Prefecture also died. Let's start then by admiring the graceful footstamps of Osaka-born Nishinoryu prior to his third division bout against 17-year-old Riki Otsuji from, most fittingly, Hyogo. Both wrestlers were yet to be born at the time of the quake, but they must know someone who was impacted, especially in Otsuji's case. Also from Osaka is O Shoryu, one of several university stars now plying his trade at Koto Oshu's Naruto Graduate School. Here he is going for a second win from four this term against fellow heavyweight Wakayama. Warshoryu has really struggled at the top of Division 3 for the past year and still needs two wins just to stay there for his expected Osaka homecoming in March. Division 2 today began with an Osaka derby, Uda versus Ikioi. Here's what happened last time they met. Could Uda, who went to university in Hyogo, by the way, establish a better angle this time? <laughs> that one was out of Mainomi's 1990s book of tricks. Ikioi is old enough to remember watching those live, which makes his body too old to respond. Even I don't know what happened with our Tachiai. That's a rare one, said Six Win Uda, suggesting each man had tried to sidestep the other. On the Hanshin Awaji quake, he said, I've heard that my university dohyo was damaged, but the sumo club kept going despite that and helped me become who I am. His words take on added weight when we realize that the same sumo club is currently in danger of folding due to lack of interest. One man we hardly ever feature is Daisho Maru, a specialist in quietly keeping rank. But he was born just 45 kilometers from Kobe and was already three years old when the quake hit. Daishomaru is one of the few who can make even Uda sweat with those very low pushing advances. Coming from Oitekaze stable, he's not short of chances to study and perfect those, and is integral to the setup which may yet bring home both the second and first division titles. Second division stablemate Tsurugisho went 8 and 0 today, by the way. The wrestler with the strongest connection to the quake is Terutsuyoshi who, as many of you know, was actually born in it. His ring name encapsulates a vow to bring strength and light to the Awaji community which raised him. There's always extra pressure to perform on his birthday. This time, he faced Sadano Umi of Kumamoto, no stranger to earthquake destruction itself.
Unfortunately, that's the second straight birthday on which Tetsuyoshi has failed to produce a dedicatory win. Not that Awaji loves him any less, though. He's the first local to make Division 1 level in over half a century. Fate had it that I'd be born on that day, he told reporters. Right now, I'm like, am I 26 already? I think I put on some solid and lively sumo today, which is no mere birthday celebration, but a day I must face head on. There are two other Hyogo men in the top division, both of whom left their hometown in their teens for Saitama Sakai High School. By far the older of the two is Mio Giryu, sumo movie star of last year and now known for flipping over 300 kilogram tires. He would need all of that famed strength against thick framed judo expert Akua today. That, right there, is the spirit that makes people believe, however tough the fight they may face. The younger of the two is, of course, Takakesho, born in Ura's university city of Nishinomiya. He faced January 2019 winner Tamawashi this afternoon, renowned for the help he provides to the flood victims of Asakura home of his Katawanami Stables camp for the Kyushu tournament each November. <laughs> Firstly, let's be clear that I always want to win, said Takakesho. But yes, I wanted to get a proper result to mark this particular event. Now I must prepare for tomorrow as best I can. A sorry ending indeed for the Ozeki, but not the worst ringside collision of the day. That involved Tochinoshin. Thankfully, on this day of misfortune, the chief referee was unharmed. Finally then, we leave it to the tournament leader, colleague of Daisho Maru and best friend of Takakesho, to impress us once more. When you're on a roll, the moves just flow from you as the eyes come to spot every winning chance available. My Tachi eye was good, but I was then under attack, Dai Aisho summarized. Back to the wall stuff at the end, but I did nothing rash, and that was good. It feels great to reach 8 with no loss for the first time, but no letting up now. Thus ends our tribute to the victims and survivors of Hanshin Awaji. We wish the region's fine wrestlers all the best in week two. <laughs>